Afghanistan, Papua New Guinea, and Central America. These are some of the countries most underprepared for extreme heat, and the summer of July 2023 was the hottest month ever recorded since the 1880. This is bound to increase due to the increased population and consumption, leading to a more severe effect of global warming in the coming year. There are over 6 million internally displaced persons in Afghanistan, and their shelter is not enough to protect them from the heat. So our team come up with solutions to save them. Introducing EcoCool, a cost-effective cooling system that could be installed in existing shelter to help ventilate and cool down the whole shelter through the use of water. Using solar panels, the system is self-sustainable, and the attach-on feature means the system is also applicable to regular households, and reduce energy consumption by replacing the traditional air conditioner system. Our system achieved three of the UN Sustainable Development Goals, good health and well-being, affordable and clean energy, and sustainable cities and communities. After brainstorming, we knew that the passive cooling is the way to go. We found a very old yet clever invention that utilized the physics phenomenon of water evaporation energy to reduce temperature for food storage. The clay is a very special material with high heat conductivity and it is made from one of the most abundant resources available, soil. So what if we made a wall with clay and ran it through the water system? So we ran a simulation to visualize the possibility and the result was amazing. To begin this project, we need to have the shelter itself. So I have to create the 3D model of the shelter, referring from the IKEA shelter which is one of the most well designed shelters at this moment. They were widely used all over the world. The size of the shelter, shelter will be used later on in the simulation part. We designed EcoQHD by using computer aid design software. The study of breathing war by Quake and Greenham in 2017 shows an impressive cooling ability, but they didn't mention about optimal size of holes. So we vary the size of the holes and then tasted it out in small scales by using 3D printed models. Eventually, we choose a 1 cm diameter version of our models. To test the efficiency of the eco cooling system, we decided to use a simulation to simulate the environment of the shelter in the form of three dimensional array. And the result from the simulation will be the distribution of heat and temperature inside of the shelter. And we'll make two assumptions to simplify our model. The first one, we will consider the sun to be one and only one source of energy in our model. And the second one is, we do not consider other external factors such as rain, weather, or the temperature of the furniture inside of the shelter. And on our screen right now is the temperature gradient from the simulation. The left figure is the gradient of the air inside the shelter without eco cool, And the right figure is the one with eco cool. The simulation will start from the sunrise and end at the sunset with 1 minute time steps. For the sun, we establish a function to control the trajectory of the sun and the intensity of the sunlight. To simulate the gradient, we use heat equation to predict the behavior of the heat transpiration. And for our cooling system, we use rate of evaporation to approximate the rate of coolant. Finally, we can see that EcoCool can averagely reduce the temperature of the shelter from 5 to 6 degrees Celsius, especially in the space near the ventilation hole. And next, I would like to talk about how we can assemble EcoCool and bring it to life. The panel are made from local soil, mixed with water, shaped in a mold, and bake it. This clay panel can also be pre-fabricated off-site before transporting to the shelter location for quick and easy installation. I designed frames to securely attach the panel to the shelter wall, which are applicable to both rigid and flexible shelter walls. To circulate water through the panel for evaporative cooling, I designed a small power unit that includes a pump, a battery, and a controller. There are also connection ports on the side to connect the power from solar cell and connect the sensor to ensure that there's water running in the system. The cost estimation of Eco Cool AC is around $16 per shelter, which is 44 times cheaper than traditional AC and far less energy consuming. So to sum up, not only does our team innovation save life, but it could also reduce energy consumption, create a financially effective way for the government to save life and contribute to stopping global warming. There are more and more people at risk of dying from heat wave every day, and we hope to bring the eco cool system to life to save those in need. Thank you.